<laughs> Michael. Welcome everybody. This is Tuesday, April 22nd, 2014. This is the Picking County Commissioner's work session. And first on our agenda is a uh, joint meeting with the Forest Service. And we have the new District Forest Ranger, Karen Schroyer. Is that pronounced right, Schroyer? Perfect, yes. Uh, welcome, thank you very much for joining us today. We've got a, uh, a brief uh, outline of some topics that we just wanted to kind of touch on. Yep. But uh, maybe if you would kind of uh, start off, I know you brought a packet of, of stuff as well. I did, and I don't know if Rachel got a copy. Uh, and John, did you did. want a copy as well? Yeah. And um, I, I think I touch on everything you wanted to discuss in in these slides uh, and more. So you know we can cut it shorter on some of these and. And I'll be honest with you, some of these I'm still getting to know the program a little bit, so I may not have all the answers for you, but I can certainly get answers if, if we need them. And um, I'll start off by just telling you all how happy I am to be here in the Roaring Fork Valley. Um, I think I've met almost all of you now. Yeah, I have met all of you now. So um, just thrilled to be here. My husband and I wanted to move back closer to the mountains and um, we felt like we got that here moving up from southern utah so um, diving in been here for about two and a half months now learning a lot about our programs and issues and projects and partners and i'm so thrilled about the partnerships we have in this valley we are incredibly lucky i came from an area where the, where the forest service didn't really have a lot of partners so um, we, we built them slowly, but um, didn't have nearly the support that we feel like we have here. So thank you for that. Um, and with that, I will just go ahead and start down the slides, if, if that's OK with you guys, unless you want to try a different format. Or? No, I think that's great. OK. okay. Um, the first thing on our slide is Ashcroft Oper Operations and Master Planning. and. Um, I'm still learning about uh, this. On the back of that page that you're holding. Oh, yeah, he's thanks, there. Gary. There <laughs> Thank you very much. And I'm still learning about this permittee and the permit that we've got up here with the Nordic Ski Area. But I um, did have a, a chance to have a brief meeting with the permittee over the telephone a few weeks ago and discuss some of the um, issues that we need to move forward with that with that ski area. Um, one of those is that we are uh, working on working together with him to build a new, I believe it's a new restaurant area or a new, um, I guess it's rental, a welcome rental, center. Rental area. Rent, thank you, the, re the rental center where the current uh, hut is located. And um, so we've got um, some things to work through with him on that. We're hoping that, that can, the construction on that can start this, this summer. And um, beyond that, I don't have a lot of updates on that particular um, issue. Did you yeah, guys I have any questions? One, one question that I had regarding that um, <laughs> was, They've been in front of us, I think, for about six or seven years now. Longer. I, longer. <laughs> so, and it's and there's been a lot of kind of changes to what we call the ski area rec master plan of that area. And part of it has to do with mitigation for employee housing for the business that they run. So there are requirements that we have of them, and then there are requirements that the Forest Service has of them. Often in their annual meeting or, or biannual meeting, there's a he said, she said with the Forest Service. So I think when we get to our next set of meetings, it would be really nice to either have someone here present from the Forest Service or at least, you know, available to make comments on what it is that they're presenting and, and proposing. Because often they say, well, the Forest Service says we can do this, or the Forest Service doesn't care about this, or this is 
the Forest Service's agenda, and, and it's, a, it's through the applicant's mouth as opposed to yep. from the Forest Service. So that's kind of one of the big concerns with that. You know, they've, they've really, they've tried to make some strides on some areas, and in other areas we feel they've been working really slow, and, right. and I think they're playing mom and pop here between the county and the Forest Service I sometimes. think that's very possible. Do you have any meetings scheduled right now? I don't think our next meeting is scheduled until the end of the summer, because oh, really? they're supposed okay. to make some headway this summer yeah. on the King Cabin replacement, which right. is what that's that yurt, what you. that yurt is that they've been using up there and then we've changed their requirements for employee housing mitigation from you know potential on site to a potential of uh, a buy a uh, mitigation fee mm -hmm. or or some off-site possibilities and they're supposed to have a, a final plan for that um, going into the summertime um, so I don't think our meeting is going to be until mid late summer with them our next one Rachel yeah, I, I was just going to suggest that we perhaps through ComDev request a progress report towards meeting those goals. And if uh, the progress report is just that the master plan will be ready July 30th, that would be one thing. But I, I certainly just don't want to get to that situation where they're always asking us to extend their permit for one more year, extend the conditions for one more year in November, December, right as the season's starting. And so I'd like to you know, with you and John and working with Cindy, see what we can do to have at least a preliminary meeting sooner than later and let us know what they intend to build or do this summer and how and yeah. you know, fast track it a little bit. And really the, the purpose of informing you of all this is so that we get the proper information from you and you start to be in the, in the loop on, on that. Absolutely. So. Well, I think, I think it's a a wise idea to have us both in the same room with the permittee. So um, once you folks decide when you want to schedule the next meeting, please let us know. And, and we'll do the same if it's something more than just, say, a, a site visit to do inspections or that. But I think the more we communicate in working with him, um, the better results we're going to get. So Great. That. Okay. Uh, White River National Forest oil and gas leasing, um, EIS. We expect to come out with the uh, draft EIS, the draft record of decision, by uh, midsummer this year. And then there will be an objection period for 45 days after that for those folks who have commented on the EIS. So uh, you should ex you know, expect to see that draft record of decision, I'd say, by end of July at the latest is what we're shooting for right now. Um, this is all coming out of our supervisor's office, but um, we realize that, that much of this is on our, our district and there's issues, um, a lot of controversy over the Thompson Divide, so the, you know, that'll be covered in that decision. So, any questions on that? It's nice to have a timeline. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Um, just a comment. You, you all may have seen the article recently in the newspaper about our budget trends. And we did get our final budget for this year, which has actually been kind of refreshing because in years past, sometimes we didn't get the final budget till July. So, um, and our fiscal year ends September 30th. Um, <laughs> but we did get our final budget for the year. It is down about 18% from last year and down about 30% from two to three years ago. So, um, those are the realities <clears throat> we're dealing with. Um, we do expect our summer seasonal workforce still to be at or below, slight, maybe slightly below our 2013 levels. but nearly nearly as many people as we had last year in terms of seasonals and a lot of that's because we haven't been able to fill some of our permanent positions and so we've saved some money there um questions on that well what are the permanent positions and great how question. is that impacting your thank you operations? and i may address this later on but let's talk about it now um we are short three or four key positions right now um the first one we are getting close to fill is our support super, support services 
supervisor position. We call it the SSS. And it's the administrative position that's kind of the cornerstone to your ranger district, helps keeps us running. And um, we're actually reviewing applications right now, starting to call references, and we hope to have a selection made on that in the next couple of weeks. Um, the other key positions that we are short on, uh, a snow ranger position um, to work under our mountain sports specialist, and um, that's replacing Matt Kuhn, who I think a lot of you folks know Matt came to work for the city of Aspen. And um, the other position is our recreation special uses position, and that's the person that administrates, administers all of the permits for our recreation special uses, whether they're outfitter guides or 